What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic video. This one is going to be insane. First of all, I'm going to show you guys my Legend of Blue Eyes Grady collection. A lot of you guys have asked for my entire Grady collection. I haven't done that yet, but we're going to do a small part of it. We're going to show you guys my first edition Legend of Blue Eyes Grady cards. Then we're going to open up this box right here, which hopefully will add to our Legend of Blue Eyes first edition Grady collection. There's some insane cards in here, guys. It's going to be pretty awesome. We got this from my friend Eric who has sold me those champion pack ones. So here we go. For the giveaway for this video, Firewall Exceed Dragon, the Agent of Force Mars, and Blackwing Dragon from the Shining Darkness. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card, either from my graded collection or in the packet. So we're going to start off with the graded collection to show you guys all of my cards that I have graded for first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. So, I opened that LLB booster box a while ago, and that's where a lot of these come from, and I have a few other ones. Also, I graded a lot of the commons and rares from that, and they're still not back. I sent them in March, and it is September, and we still don't have them. So there's that for you. PSA is super slow. I've sent a lot of stuff to PSA recently, and I want to do PSA return videos. A lot of you guys don't even know that I do them, and I've done like 15 of them on this channel, but you guys haven't seen them because, you know, they never come back. So, first card we have. Mystical Elf. This is a wavy print card. If you don't know what wavy print is, guys, uh, it's it's just it's a lot to explain. But basically, there's two prints. Now the people are saying there's three, but from what I know, there's two prints. There's a wavy print. There's a glossy print, and they're both first edition. So there's not a huge difference, but people do. A lot of people like wavy better. So there's a wavy PSA nine Mystical Elf. That one was not from my box. I opened a glossy box. Here is the polymerization from my box. One of the two, because we pulled two. Make sure you guys check out my LB video. If you guys haven't watched it somehow and you're watching my channel, a lot of you guys came from that video, and then a lot of you guys came from the 10K video, so maybe some of you guys from the 10K video never watched it. This is a glossy polymerization. It got a mint nine. Pretty awesome, though. Then, of course, we have the second one. These guys were way off-centered, so this one actually wasn't as bad when it comes to the centering, but also got a nine. Then we got one of the best supers in the set, Flame Swordsman. I pulled this one as well. This one got a nine. So lots of nines. Uh, my set is nines and tens only. Um, tens, just tens is very expensive. So I'm sticking with nines for now. Maybe we'll upgrade to tens one day. Probably not, but Man Eater Bug. This one was also off center. Our centering was really bad on that box. Here is a Celtic Guardian. This is a PSA nine. This one is the one that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! First Day Collector pulled out of his box a while ago. I think, I think that's, I think that's true. Then we have Trap Hole. Or no, actually no, maybe maybe this is the one that uh, Thug Noodles pulled, but you go first day collector had it. I can't remember. But uh, it's PSA 9. Here are the 10s. We do have a PSA 10 Trap Hole. This was actually given to me by someone. It has this junk on the back, so that kind of made it a little bit less desirable, but it's still a 10, so uh, I'll take it. Unfortunately, it has that junk on the back. Then we have a Dark Hole. This one I graded myself. I actually bought this from one of my friends, and then... <laughs> It, like I thought it was like a 7, but I sent it in anyway, and it got a 10. So it was, it was in my early days of grading. So, I mean, it looks okay. It has that classic PSA um, scuffed up back, but overall pretty nice. Then we have my Ultras. I have three Ultras. I have a Gaia the Fierce Knight, PSA 10. I got this one in a collection I bought, and it graded a 10. This one's glossy. Pretty amazing. Awesome card. One of the worst Ultra Rares in the set, but still really cool. Then we have the Monster Reborn that I pulled, PSA 10. This one was the only 10 pulled in the box. This one was pretty nice. I mean, it was really nice, actually. Yeah, I need to clean these slabs off because they're a little dusty. Okay, and then finally, the Red Eyes Black Dragon that first got a 9 at PSA, then I sent it to BGS, and it got a 9. I should have kept it a 9 at PSA, to be honest, but because the surface had these crazy, crazy uh, print lines. But we have a nine, BGS 9 Red Eyes, so that's my collection. That's all I have right now. Now I'm going to show you guys some cards that I just bought. Some really cool LOB First Edition, so here we go. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you guys what we got in here. So let's open this up. There's some pretty epic cards. It's not just LOB First Edition. There's also some other epic old school cards. So I hope, hope you guys are excited. Make sure you guys hit the like button. This is going to be a pretty fun one. Pretty epic. I haven't bought any first edition LOB in a long time in terms of singles. I don't even remember the last one I bought. It's been a very long time, so I'm hoping that these are in nice condition. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can pull these out. Check that. All right, let's grab all this stuff. 
interesting packaging here. Alright. Alright. Alright guys, here we go. We have some unsleeved cards. We've got stuff with no penny sleeves, so we're gonna have to be really careful here to get everything. Alright, so here we go. First of all, we have Giant Trune. We're gonna be adding them into penny sleeves as we go. That looks like it's in really nice shape. First edition from Magic Ruler. That's awesome. First edition Black Illusion Ritual. That is pretty sweet. There we go. I haven't checked the centering. Oh, guys, here we go. The one and only Relinquished. Near Mint to Mint. Wow, that is beautiful. The centering is not good on it. That's okay. That is a Magic Ruler one. Not Starter Deck Pegasus. Magic Ruler. That is the kind of the bummer about Starter Deck Pegasus and Starter Deck Joey. Is they just use the same art from the uh, you know the set cards, so it's kind of weird. Snatch Steel. This card looks really nice. These cards are in great condition. This is awesome. He told me they were like they were like PSA nines, like you know at worst. So he was not lying, even though he sent them to me in no sleeves. I was like, dude, you gotta sleeve these things. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, never mind. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, Tone World. Yeah, he, he's not he's not a huge card. I mean, he's he is a card guy, but. You know, not like me, you know, not like me obsessed with sleeving every single card, you know what I mean? He, he's like more of a collectible guy in general. There we go. Heavy Storm. That is unlimited, but still, I mean, it's, uh, it's not really, I wouldn't call it faded. That'd be kind of fake, but it is less saturated than normal slightly. Here we go. Spell Binding Circle. Wow, that's actually awesome. Magic Ruler. That's actually pretty decent centering. We might try to grade that one. I'm going to send, I might send a lot of these in. We'll see. We'll see what we want to send in, what I want to keep um, raw. Okay, Black Pendant. Yeah, guys, this is it. Yeah, I told you LOB. We're not even to the LOB yet, so here we go. Keep going. I'm just going to just kind of fan this stuff out for you. Maha Vilo. Super rare. Beautiful. Beautiful card. Magic Ruler is still, you know, pretty cheap overall compared to Metal Raiders and... LOB because you know there's just a lot more ma magic ruler because they found all that recently there's a bunch of boxes hit the market just a couple of years ago so at this point it's like three or four years ago but still there were so many that it's just it's just not as popular that one has this tune Ma mermaid has a little bit of a dimple right there but still pretty good condition the centering is off I feel like a tune mermaid it's often centered with the big part down there and the small up there that's kind of the case a lot here is a thousand dragon. Check that out. Got a little spot right there. So that one, unfortunately, does have a little blemish. It is unlimited anyway, so not too big of a deal. Seeker rare. We have the one and only solemn judgment. Check that out. Beautiful. That card might be a might be a deck card because it's unlimited. So I need some of those. Horn of Heaven. The classic Horn of Heaven, guys. Yeah. I know you guys love Horn of Heaven for some reason. I don't know why, but you do. Then we have Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. That's pretty cool. Unlimited, but still really cool. Then, guys, we're getting into some big stuff. Secret Rare, First Edition, Serpent Knight Dragon. Let's see. Is it gradable? I think it might have a ding down there in the corner. No! Yeah, it does. So this one is nearly perfect. It does have a ding. has a little spot right there. Uh, yeah, it does have a ding on the corner, but overall really nice a really nice secret rare serpent night dragon That's really cool Next we have You're gonna be shocked Another serpent night dragon. So there we go. Let's see if this one has a ding This one looks like it might be gradable. Okay, the centering is off. It would definitely not get a 10 So that one's pretty nice serpent night dragon that's pretty awesome. Two of those is insane. So that one was in a sleeve. Okay, here we go. Yeah, here we go, guys. Oh, this one's European. Celtic Guardian. Okay. The E Celtic Guardian. So that one's European, but it is really nice, actually. I didn't realize that one was European. Celtic Guardian Europe, but that's okay. Not what we're looking for, but overall pretty nice. And look, this is just thrown in here. Terraforming. I actually do need this for... Uh, for my Gravekeeper deck, for my Goat Gravekeepers. I, I have uh, Terraforming, so this will fit perfectly. Okay. Let's, I mean, this one doesn't deserve to be on the screen right now. <laughs> terraforming, it's like a 50 cent card. Okay. 
We have another. Heavy Storm. Oh, this one's first dead. I didn't realize that. This one is not not quite near mint. This one looks like more like light play, maybe. A harsh moderate play, maybe. Okay. That's cool. Oh, no. Okay. Tribute to the Doomed. There is another near mint. Tribute to the Doomed. That's pretty sweet. This is not good, guys. Are all these European? I think all these might be European. I didn't really realize that. Another European Maneater. I mean, this card is inc incredibly nice, though. Alright. Oh, man. Are all these going to be European? That's going to be scary. Could be the case, because we have a European Dark Hole right here. So far, the Supers are European. But, of course, the Magic Ruler and the uh, Metal Raiders are not European. Here's a first edition European Raigeki. This card's really nice. Super rare. We've got Polymerization. Okay. Polymerization. This one is... Oh my goodness, guys. Do you see the centering on this card? Look at this. What is this? You can't make this stuff up. That is terrible. <laughs> That's kind of awesome, actually. I really like that card being way OC. Un That's an unlimited one, though. Okay, guys, it's official. We have a card that is not European, I think. Oh, wait, this is unlimited. That's why. There we go. Unlimited trap hole. Not European, fortunately. I don't even know if they had unlimited European. All right, let's check this one out. We've got a Raigeki. This is a super rare. Not European, which I don't know. Let me know, guys. Do you guys know if they had unlimited European? The foil, a little bit of a foil shift on this one. I feel like that's kind of common for Raigeki. I've seen that on the last one. Okay, this one is Trihorn. Trihorn Dragon. Check that out. Is this normal secret or is this reverse? This one is a reverse Trihorn, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Reverse foil Trihorn Unlim. That is pretty sick. Check that card out. Secret Rare. Alright, that's cool. Next card we have another Celtic Guardian. This one looks kind of beat up. Yeah, this guy is a little bit, uh, yeah, he's definitely beat up down there. Maybe a little bit water damage or something? I don't know. More foil shift on the Celtic. That's interesting. Next we have, is this a wavy card? Okay, time out, time out, time out. I think we might have something pretty cool here. Maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. That does not look wavy. Didn't it? Wait, what? It, okay, this looks like something. I don't know what this is. Let me know which, if you uh, print or on experts, what card is this? It looks, it, it was darker like wavy, but it's not. So, you know, maybe it's that 1.5 print people talk about. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert when it comes to print runs. Okay, guys, there's too many of them. Okay, next. We have Flame Swordsman. Super rare. There we go. That's pretty awesome. And we have, finally, another trap hole. Another European. Oh, my goodness. I did not realize these were European, but that is, that's okay. That's just how it works sometimes. European. Now we have a couple more cards, guys. Oh, man. Okay. We have another. We have a blue eyes tune dragon. It's in here with no sleep. We got to be careful. Okay. Secret Rare Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. Does have a little something right there on the back. That is pretty nice. That looks really good. Blue Eyes Tune Dragon Secret Rare. That's pretty awesome. Alright, we have finally three cards. And it's going to be a little anticlimactic. I didn't realize. This is actually European. I did not realize this. That is unfortunate. So the value is much, much less than expected. Trihorn Dragon. That is European. Oh, killer. Then we have Monster Reborn. This one's also European. Man, these cards are so nice. They're European print. 
has those E. Basically European, when you see that E, that is a no-no, that's not good. Yeah, so I didn't really realize that, I didn't see any picks of them, unfortunately, so. Um, that is okay. Swords of Revealing Light, another European card, unfortunately. But, I guess this will be the finale, because we do have a nice card in here, guys. We do have a nice card, it is unlimited, but it's not European. It is Blue Eyes White Dragon. There we go. L-O-B Blue Eyes. It looks pretty nice. Let's see. Do we think it can get a 10? Maybe. I'm not seeing anything. It has a cutting issue right there. You guys see that? That could maybe dock it. Other than that, this card looks really good. So... The highlights are definitely this card and the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon because all the LOB first eds were European, which is killer. Absolutely killer. So these cards are super nice. There's a foil shift on this Blue Eyes, which is pretty cool. Um, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon looks really good. But overall, still a really cool lot. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, we're not going to be adding to the NA um, graded collection, of, unfortunately, because, you know, it was all European stuff. But yeah, so we'll see what happens with this. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in European cards because I'm probably not going to keep them because I thought that I was thinking they were NA, but they're not. So it's just kind of a misunderstanding. But we did get some really cool Magic Ruler Metal Raiders. We got an LOB Unlimited Blue Eyes. That's really cool. So overall, a pretty awesome buy. Not as cool as I thought it was going to be, but still pretty awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! <laughs> Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>